For this video, we will use Dashboard's Visual Query Builder to interact with our data. The Visual Query Builder tool is a way for non-programmers to use Q without having to write any code. Drag into the central canvas a data grid and create a data source using the builder. We will start with an example which will combine an historic and real-time data set into a single result table. First, we add the real-time data source called List before creating a join to add to our historic data set called Fundamentals from the Stocks folder. We will define the join using a shared variable across the two datasets, in this case symbol. We then execute, apply and select. This will create a table which feeds in real-time price updates alongside historic fundament data for each stock. In our next example, we will set up a filter query in a second data grid. Our builder query will use the DFX quotes dataset. Right click to add a filter. The filter will use a rule linked to a view state. Our view state will include a default value to populate the output. We will then add to the dashboard a drop down to pass values into the view state. Remember to assign the view state to the selected property of the drop down before creating a query to pull distinct values for that variable. We can then test this interaction in preview mode. The next example, we will work with a new screen to add a canvas chart to create a comparative plot between rental rates and property prices for different regions. In the builder query, we will add the rental data source before creating a join to property prices. We then add a grouping filter, in this case area. In our example, the area grouping is common to both data sources, thus facilitating the join. We can switch between nodes to view the data content. By selecting the join node, we can view the group data for property prices and rents by area. We then configure the chart to find a single layer for rent and property price, including the name for each layer's legend. Then we add a second y-axis to make allowances for the difference in the value range for rental and property prices. In our last example, we will add a simple mortgage calculation function to the builder query. We will use a data grid to display the values. In the builder editor, we first select property prices for a data source. Then add a function from the list available. In this case, our mortgage calculation function. We then set the parameter, in this case 20 years, to generate the required monthly payment for the property. Visual Query Builder functions can be found in the demo.q file of the sample directory.
new functions can be added here and will be available on the next dashboard restart. Thank you for watching.